call the meeting to order. North Hampton Council on Aging and Senior Services Board meeting. And it's uh, September the 14th, 19, 2017. Hmm. 19, oh okay, public session. We don't seem to have anybody here for public session. Approval of minutes. I have a motion on that. Uh, second. I got it. Okay, Jim. Uh, now, has everybody read the minutes? And do you have any changes, alterations, problems with it? Okay, then all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? None. Okay, now we'll move on to old business. Age friendly cities, dementia friendly cities. Linda? Oh, here's Kathy. Sorry, uh, parking geez. was not actually very. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, There's no parking spots. So well, let me. Um, this is the first agenda item is the age-friendly cities and dementia. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe both Kathy and I can talk a little bit about mm -hmm. that. Um, so Cindy Langley has offered to, to take a lead role um, in her AARP hat too, which is really cool because she gets to open a few doors in Boston for us um, to get going on the Age Friendly um, City Initiative. It, it's sort of a lengthy process. There's a few forums that need to be um, identified and lots and lots of paperwork. And Kathy has offered to, to take over the um, dementia friendly component of that. Um, and Kathy's background is really, really close to having her doctorate in dementia. So to have those two resources is just phenomenal. So um, I would say within a year, we'll probably have that status. And thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anybody any, have any questions? Any questions? Uh, no, Comments? Okay, let's move on to earn. Okay, um, we just had our earn meeting. Um, uh, the it's we have a membership of, of about well we have a, a earn um, team that a leadership team that has about six members and they're doing really outstanding um, uh, they are they're just doing outstanding leadership and earn is the employment after retirement network and um, we've got um, we've had two in the last. Um, last month we had two um, trainings for people who are thinking about becoming employed again and um, it was really well attended. 25 people came to each of the, of the events and um, we are working very closely with the Career Center and um, we're um, a little bit down, a little bit farther down. We'll talk about the employment fair that's coming along. Um, and we have $4,000 to spend from the uh, community block grant that we received to support this initiative. Um, it's really, it's kind of exciting. It's, it, and it's definitely, a, um, it, this is a kind of a new need that's very, that's been identified as, and it's called bridge employment because more and more people in retirement um, for all sorts of reasons are needing to keep working. So. Any comments or questions? Okay, then let's move on to committee reports. Okay, Heather uh, sends her regrets she was not feeling well today, so I'm just kind of, I think I'm going to ask my tag team, um, John, to talk a little bit about um, where we are with some of our food directions. Um, um, I will, st let me quickly go through the retail. I don't know if you've noticed the change in our retail store. It's looking nice. Um, we have a retail committee. We've painted, um, we painted it. Um, we're looking for some wholesalers to give us some really good deals on products. We've done our survey, so we kind of know what products are being looked at. Um, we, we received our noted um, donation from Cedar Chest, so we, that's why we've got a lot of Halloween stuff out there in the, the retail area. Um, so it's, it's going up. I think this year we'll pay a, a really close attention. We're going to try to make it as, as well received as possible, and we're going to, but we're going to do, um, do our homework. And if, it, if it's work, if it is worth it, we're going to keep it open. If not, we're going to use it for a space because our space is getting limited. But um, we have some ideas, and I think it's going to be a good money maker. So. 
Um, okay, the, the space issue, um, again, I, I think I'm going to probably take that off of our committee reports. Um, we, because we expanded the hours, we're filling those four to, four to five hours um, with all sorts of new activities now so that um, space may be an issue, but um, it's uh, because we have an extra five days of um, hour and we are, we're using these the, the few venues that were a little bit l uh, less used, um, we're, they're up and going now. And we're putting down tables, we're putting different tables up for card groups. So we listen to um, the, the um, space committee and I think we're identifying the solutions. But this is going to be an ongoing committee, though. it's going to continue? No, I don't think so. I think we've, we've addressed everything okay. that they've asked us to address. And, okay. Um, yeah. It always be like a hot ad hoc if it needs to arrive. If we, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And now for our food, which is the excitement of the day. Um, October 3rd, we have our opening of our bistro again. Um, and we are, and Heather is really taking an, an extraordinarily good lead on this. Um, she's She's working with Hampshire Regional group, uh, High School that are going to help with the prep work. Um, John and Barbara are offering, um, but we're not going to have them work every single day of their lives. But, and we're, uh, but we're using their expertise by being, you know, great supporters of our food program in the past. Um, the jail is all set. We've met with them a couple times. The menus are being planned now, and um, it's it's going to be a go. And fingers crossed. It should be, a, again, another way to um, not only bring money into the, the senior center, but also to bring another resource that has been, looked, you know, missed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it'll also bring people in yep. that will have probably not come in, and it's going to be Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. And for what times? Oh, like 11. I, would, I forgot what 11 we said. 11.30 to 1.30? Something, Something like that we okay. talked about, yeah. Be nice if you could pull in some of the people that work around, mm. you know, in City Hall and so forth. And well, Mark, Mark can walk yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. have lunch. Maybe getting yeah. as well. Yeah. I know it's going to be reasonable. Mark, yeah, we'll no, 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 no. See, I'll be advertising Mark. people, yeah. and it won't be able to just link us. No, we need to just advertise people. Will the Gazette cover anything? Maybe Chef's Gazette have to do a story. We'll see if we can get them to come over. We're, we're actually going to, you know, even maybe deliver to like the Gazette and give them an update on what sandwiches and soup mm -hmm. and um, do a, a little oh, yeah. delivery. Yeah. You know, as we, you, you might be able to send out menus. I remember in yeah. our office, people would yep. fax over the mm -hmm. menus just yep. on that. I, I think we're going to put it on the, on the website. Is Vicki put it on the website, I think? Yep. Yeah, yeah so we have and to reach out to, to the website. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, and reach out to different city offices and agencies mm -hmm. and things and like businesses. that. We'll see how, you know, I, I think we'll just make sure that the first couple of days go according to plan and then we can see how far we can expand um, mm -hmm. some of our services and it, it's exciting. Um, you know, it, it's plus it's really nice to work with another, with the, the House of Correction, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good social movement. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we, we've got a great volunteer uh, that has offered to take a management role, um, so which will be outstanding too. Mm -hmm. She can crack a whip. And she can crack a whip. Uh, my wife worked with the jail. Oh, great. So all those guys listened to her. Oh, Very carefully. Did <laughs> not step out of line. She's about this big. And she has yeah. And I mean, that's. She's already told me. The small ones are always tough. I, honest to God, she's Great. Great. <laughs> she, it's really hard to believe that. I'm sorry. I know. When you look at it, she looks like Mary Poppins for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I thought of her when I first met her. I said, This is Mary Poppins. She doesn't fit, oh the, she doesn't fit this mold yeah. at all. She was the juvenile probation officer for Hampshire Juvenile. I know what you said. That. I said, 30 years. Yeah. Juvenile. Oh, oh yeah. And, the, the, this <laughs> and she puts up with you. <laughs> I'm the biggest juvenile. I was the trainee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. So we're really excited. Now, it, I always get, it's Susie or Maggie? Which does she go? It depends. Her? People call her Mag. Okay. Oh. Other people call her Susan. It, it, okay. She answers everything. Okay. So. <laughs> anyway, but this was kind of the missing link to, to have someone uh -huh. to take the management role. Because yeah. we thought that the, 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 um, 
the House of Cor the Hampshire Jail was going to take more of a, a lead role, but they're just cooking. And so for us to have that, because truly Heather has a lot on her plate right now. We don't want to um, have her, you know, it gets complex. You know, things happen. And it, to have someone in that room, it's just remarkable. Thank her. Well, when we had it open before, we had someone who was yeah. running it. Yeah. Mary. Herself. Mary, which, yeah, but she did everything, too. Well, she cooked one one day, because she ran the whole thing. Mother, you know, that planning. So you do so, need somebody in charge. So fingers crossed, but it feels like it's going to be a really nice service. I, I know that Bob had calibrated the ovens and stoves, so those are all set, but has anybody looked at that faucet, the hot water yet? You know, it, it, this is my, and I'm, be, before today is over, I'm calling on that one. Okay, I have to, I was going to ask um, Bob who I should call, so I, I think I'm going to just call the central services, they'll deal with it. I know that was the only thing that you asked for, John. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Okay. Let's move on to any more committee reports? No. Okay. So let's move on to Elder Vision. Elder Vision. Yeah, every now and then you'd like to give a spiel on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Well, Elder Vision is, is doing very well. Uh, this summer, we managed to spend a lot of money. Uh, but at request uh, for all sorts of things. One of, the, one of the fun ones was the dump tank. Victoria and Heather came up with the, was that the summer walk, yep. Main Street right, walk? The summer stroll. Mm -hmm. Summer stroll. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was on Brother's Short Notice they found out about it. Mm -hmm. And so they uh, got some money from me and they, uh, they rented a dump tank and ended up making, uh, what did they end up making? <laughs> they ended up making uh, down here somewhere. $380. Mm -hmm. No, $380 <coughs> profit on it. For one day, so it was nice exposure. It was nice exposure. And a lot of people were very surprised to see a dump tank in a senior center. I mean, it seemed kind of a fun thing. <laughs> they all, one of the deals they had was uh, I think it was one ball for a dollar, three balls for two dollars, or for twenty dollars you just walk up and dunk the person. You don't know how many twenty dollar bills they had. What a few twenty dollar bills. There's a lot of mean people out there just wanted to dump somebody. Who were some of the people that were on the seat? Heather was on there. I believe there was uh, the sheriff uh, was on. The mayor was sheriff, on. The, the mayor was on, and uh, I think it was an assistant uh, fire chief was on too. Yeah. A couple of cops. Or yeah. Oh, good. A couple of cops too. Yeah. So they, they pulled me. I just pulled him in off the street. Right. Told him to sit down. Don't ask questions. Can we go on and step up there? Yeah, right. yeah. So that was very good. We both uh, Valley Gives uh, gave us uh, four hundred twenty-five dollars this year. They raised for it, so that was nice. So we've uh, spent a little money on this, that, and the other thing, but uh, we have one that's uh, continuous, America's Charities. It's a website where you go and you can pledge money. And we get a check from them every two to four weeks. Anyway, from 37.50, you know, the Highland was I think $112. That comes in. Mm -hmm. Now the gala, we're getting quite a bit of money for the gala right now. So far, uh, we've got $2,100 pledged, uh, ticket purchases for the gala. Quite a few, uh, several businesses have come through with what they call silver, the 250. I forget how many seats they okay. get for that. And, they, oh. and there's a one, one uh, four. They get my four. first four. four. <laughs> four. And uh, then they get a, a gold one is $500. Yep. And I believe a, a hospital has pledged $1,500. For the big one? Diamond. Yeah. Mm -hmm. get eight seats. I haven't seen that money yet, but they will be coming in. Wow. So we, we also purchased a piano bench for our grand piano. Elder Vision did that, and uh, cover, casters, and tuning. Mm. So the grand piano actually uh, ended up costing us uh, $924. But it's a beautiful piano. It's valued, um, I have the, the value of that is $20,000. Wow. And so, when they play in, in that classical sense, oh my, they did that, a couple of people did it the other day, and it just, it just changed the whole atmosphere of our place. Somebody mm -hmm. played the violin along with the piano. Oh my God, it was so yeah. moving. And I was I was oh. here building monitor for the Hampshire uh, Choral Group, and they used the piano, and the piano played a little bit. That was just great. So it's a good well, it's it's investment. 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 It's good. Investment. That might be good marketing, um, you know, tool for getting yeah. yes. Well, they're, the violinist is coming back to to rehearse, you know, here. So yeah, so we'll fill space. And she's bringing a cello with her. 
Not while I'm on vacation, that's great. Well, it'll be regular. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, also, the cookout, the uh, Elsk gave us $400 for that cookout and came down and sent the personnel down here to cook yeah. the meats. Uh, Barbara Kaczynski went out and bought the food. She spent $400.21. Oh. <laughs> she spent 21 cents in all. We didn't even know that. We were that close. We just turned in our receipts. and that's That what we is. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that just shows to go yet. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. what we have the expertise to see. And so, but we did spend uh, another $100 on the hard course uh, that they charged us for. But that was well worth it all. Should I, let me ask a question here. Yes. Does the Young and Hard course, do we charge them when they practice? They only practiced here once. That was two days ago. Yeah, did we and charge then, them? Huh? Did we charge them? We did not charge them. They did, the $100 were for a couple of the musicians that aren't part of the course. Mm -hmm. you know, but you know, that it, it was wonderful. Yeah. They really helped make yeah. that hamburger yeah. a whole lot better. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it was it was well worth the effort. And like I say, uh, fortunately, uh, Elder Vision Inc. has the money. We have some money in there, yeah. and uh, we're getting. Well, probably actually, since I've taken over the treasurership since Debbie left, we've got to a low of twenty-one thousand something and a high of twenty-three thousand something, and we're fluctuating up and down depending on what's coming in. The gala should leave a pretty good chunk in there if you get the. That's good. Tables at a hundred dollars. Yep. Do we know what the break even is? What's costing us or what we need to make? Well, we've already sold fifty tickets. Oh. Yeah, but do we know what the break even? Like, what's it costing us? Oh, it's. Set will probably the new cost, I would imagine. Uh, um, I think it's about thirty dollars per person, so we would see a. We you would go to guarantee a certain amount, though. Um. Yeah, but we 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 cut and beyond that. Yeah. 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 So it's, yeah, it's, it's all profit. It's, it's so, I have to say, I mean, a part of me was like, you're going to charge what? You know, because um, I'm coming from a, a different place, you know. Um, but, but, you know, I have, I have these beautiful staff who are, you know, really hard workers and are coming from, they're coming from a different place. And it's not appropriate for me to step on people. It's for, for um, appropriate me. Okay, you know, it's, it, if they fail, they fail, but you know, I'll be there to support them because they were so enthusiastic about this. Um, and it isn't, there's not that many charities out there that are charging $100 a person. So, um, but 50, 50 seats are sold, yeah. and that's $100 a seat. Yeah. Other so than Seth Meyers, so good. far we've only spent $159 for printing tickets and for uh, mm -hmm. printing the letters that they sent out. And so, we have some deep pockets here in town. I think we do. We have to knock on a few more yeah. doors, that's all. And we're looking at 80 tickets, which is not a huge number right. of people. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But and from, I really I think thought... I, have, I think I have 20 seats from the Oxhope. Wow. Wow. Not you incorporated in their 50? Not incorporated in their 50. I think I have 20 more. Oh, yeah. oh, we also have to count the ones, because we the staff is working it, but we're also giving them... Yeah. Yeah. So we have to count that against yeah. cost. Yeah. 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 So it's really yeah. yeah. Seth will be the biggest bill we get on well, this. And uh, yeah. he's too reasonable. Yeah. yeah. It's a very, it's going to be lucrative. It's going to be a good fundraiser. So, um, it, I mean, the, the bottom line is that from my perspective as a social worker, I knew we had to do something else. And that's why we did our, um, our barbecue so everyone could celebrate and we wouldn't be excluding the the population that we're serving and and so now it this is our fundraiser this is you know from a different perspective but a lot of um not for profits are doing things like that you know i am was involved with united arts which is up in greenfield but they started doing big expensive galas too i mean i think that that might be the way of um, fundraising and some, you know, or having a diversified fundraising um, focus. And people would rather do one big fundraiser than lots of little tasks. I know, but we do it for the CAC, the Children's Advocacy Center. We have one huge fundraiser, and they love it. They'll, yeah. they'll pay $100 and get it over with. Yeah. Instead of, you know, they don't ask $10, $5, $50. So that's yeah. one big event. They want, one they big big they want fun one event. They dress up and they get yeah. to have a good time. Yeah. 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 So that's it's, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, that's about uh, it for elderly. Mm -hmm. 
uh, elder, the trips and travel now, we're only using this as a uh, funnel for money. Uh, a lot of times in the trip. Is that the camera? Yeah, I think so. Something's wrong with your camera. It's hissing and whistling back here like. Yeah, so. Uh, not my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I In that, it's coming out of that fire. <laughs> Oh, it's up there. It's up there. Oh, maybe. Okay. Wow. It's up there. Yeah. It's not yeah. here. It's here. Oh, that's really cool. Well, I'm not going up there. So. <laughs> Sorry anyway, tips it. and travel. Uh, <coughs> using this uh, as a convenience for the trips and travel. Uh, a lot of times, in like, fact, uh, Barbara Kaczynski did this with the tall uh, ships travel. He gets a down payment from people. They get 20, 30 checks. Then they pay the next, the next payment, you get another 20, 30 checks. The travel agency doesn't want to handle all those checks. So they give them to me, I put them in trips and travel. At the end, I write one check. I do that for uh, the trips and the team more than the bus. Collect all this stuff, put it in there, and then write one check. In fact, we're doing that with the BE right now. Mm -hmm. So it's just more convenient. So that's what trips and travel is actually doing. So keeping the account open just for that uh, purpose. And that's about it for the minimum. And it's, I, from, from my perspective, it's, it's wonderful to be, have, it, have this as a resource. You know, every now and then, instead of going through the hassles of government, just to be able to say, so Bob, and then it's brought to the Elder Division Board, you know, it follows a process, it's audited every year, you know, so there's no, you know, even though I asked him to go to Florida with me, he said no, and no, um, anyway. Did you um, ask that? No, no, I, I did not. <laughs> Uh, Susan, you didn't hear it. that. No. Anyway, um, I just, it, you know, it's just so nice. You know, like if you wanted a piano cover and you had to go through the well, city, through, it would be, it, it's horrible. It's horrible. So it, it is, a, it's a wonderful asset. Yeah, it's nice to have the, the extra that we can, we can spend on things, as I say, that aren't included in the normal budget. And where you either got an ad no from the city or a uh, big long hassle. Well, it's just a break, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you can't wait for certain things, you know, it's just important. It takes time for the city to do anything. Yeah. I work as a building monitor, yeah. and it, they pay me every two weeks. But they, uh, when I do a little bit of newspapers, they pay me for my car. Right. I do a little bit of newspapers, three weeks later, I get the check. Mm -hmm. It takes that long. Yeah. So, okay. Any other questions or comments on Elder Britain? Mm -hmm. You're aware that uh, Jim Spencer down here is the Vice President of Elder Britain. Oh! <laughs> big, big guy. Autographs. Yeah. In fact, I just put him on the, uh, you can write checks now. So watch him. <laughs> Carefully. Spell my name. Okay, Northampton Neighbors. Okay, this is a quick update. Um, we're not, we're supporting them only, well, I'm on their board. Um, but it, it's an interesting concept, and we have there's 200 members right now. And you know, I know one of when I was interviewed for the position of this position, the, the um, director position. Um, what is, some of the um, people on, on the um, committee said, "How are we going to bring new people in?" And this is one of the ways, because a lot of those 200 people are from a different. They're, they're not necessarily people that will come through our door. Mm -hmm. And now they're coming through our door. And um, it's, it's a good, it's really a good thing. Um, and that not only that, we're, <coughs> my, my, my supporting um, of this organization is I will be training the volunteers. So again, we'll, um, uh, so we're thinking about three weeks. Um, some people that are really socially isolated will be working with the professional ag agencies like Highland Valley or the VA, and um, we'll have we'll, our first three weeks. We'll have 12 volunteers that will go out either in a friendly visiting capacity or a different um, support systems that we offer here. So it'll really complement um, the quality of life for older people, and that's what we're all about. This has nothing, I mean, it does have to do with it, has to do a lot of things, probably under new business, and just because we have really, I mean, bringing new, new programs, a lot of people in here, then parking can be an issue. So, do we have alternate or, you know, sanctioned parking? You know, just so people are aware, you know, because you don't want people to park and go out and find their car towed. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think that it's great, but I think we have to kind of think about 
you know, the, our constituency in terms of some of the things like that. We do have some agreements. Uh, okay. The well, Gazette has, has, has uh, allowed okay. us to use their lot. Okay. And we can use the outer lot. Okay. I think that's important, that would be important in terms of. And on times when the uh, uh, Probably World War II Club isn't open, reduce. we can use the lot. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's it. I mean, it's just so other people know me. Like, I would, we probably I could use a uh, sign. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was going to say alternate parking. Yeah, yet. and yeah. use it uh, on those occasions we're going to have. Right. Like we have this health and safety fair. We use the uh, yeah. right. Right. staff. Right, right. We I have all the people just, who bring us. Just because we have more people, more programs, people will be. So it's just convenient. That's all. The best alternative is the World War Two, and the rest we have to ask permission on a regular basis so that you know especially like the health and safety fair well, that, or, yeah for so and we like always that. have a parking attendant mm -hmm. um, that got a little glitchy um, for our two and mm -hmm. for our um, anniversary party but anyway <laughs> we have to get a certain personality that will let people park and um, and then a lot a couple people with um, disabilities called and said they couldn't come because they try to find park and that I don't ever want that to happen again and both of them suggested using um, a shuttle and we can do that yeah oh yeah I think just making sure people know. yeah we've got the van yeah. now so yeah mm -hmm. more people will be. okay uh, any other questions on neighbors program a uh, van update. It's going well. Um, I hope in a, by probably in the next month we'll have our um, fourth driver. Um, we've we've been, um, it's it's almost like um, doubled. Um, I think when we first started we were at 20, and now we're at 600 uh, a, a month. Um, so it's it's a good. We're in a good place. Mm -hmm. um, we're good at. I would say in the next month or two months, we're going to try to get introduce some exciting new initiatives, like get people over to the malls, or you know, just. But again, we have to do it kind of slowly, just to maybe introduce it. Um, but Jen, again, I look, my staff is just great, and Jen is doing a marvelous job. No, there hasn't been one complaint. Not that one. <laughs> so I um, just nothing but good reports. And I've driven the new van that drives very nicely. Yes. Big. <laughs> <coughs> and it has trouble going around corners. It has trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's just say it's got a rear tire up that hits a curb once in a while. Oh, that can take when they jump out like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I get that one down now. I can take the corner without well, clipping the tire. Just don't talk to the director about this. <laughs> um, the director doesn't know anything about it. They don't use the curb stones. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's, uh, it's a beautiful van. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Nice. Is. So, and that's probably the one we'll use for these special trips. Keep the day-to-day, -day, yeah. the other PBTA one, day-to-day -day transportation. Okay, uh, Highland Valley Elder Service. Okay, we oh. met this past Monday, and um, uh, really act a lot of things going on there. Um, they're doing quite. I mean, they're doing. They really. Alan has done a remarkable job, and with the rest of the board members in terms of. Fiscally, you know, when they were in a hole and they had a lot of problems, but they've really gotten some systems in place. And, you know, just like all um, other um, organizations, many organizations, you know, they have a hard time with staff turnover, which is not unusual in human services. You know, they don't, you know, they, I mean, for um, case managers, the payment isn't quite as much as other people, and they're trying to look yeah. into doing other kinds of things, but it's just there's a turnover and trying to keep all the, um, um, obligations they need to, to to have in place to meet state requirements, etc., can be sometimes challenging. But they really are working at things. Um, uh, they met um, on the Title III grants, and uh, the decisions recommendations came from the committee, and the board voted, and they should, all the um, the um, applicants should be notified shortly. And I'll tell you, it was an interesting process for me because. They have certain categories that you need to, you know, that apply in, and it was interesting because a few categories in terms of the, um, and I, I just looking, I didn't have the notes with me in terms of the, the specific categories, but you might get applicants, and 
you know, we were, we were almost like giving more money to some applicants because we had that much money in that category. The problem is, is you can't transfer from one category into another, and that could be, and so one category got so many applications and people didn't get, you know, it was, it's, it's interesting. I'm, you know, State and, um, no, the categories are mandated by the state, or yeah. kind of, uh, yeah. well, they are mandated by the state. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't just shift no, because around. the state funds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why. So, um, let's see, the nutrition program actually was is interesting because they they had served twelve thousand meals in August. I'm telling you, isn't that incredible how many meals they made? They they actually had. Um, they actually had um, with the with the, um, the meals. They actually now have a um, alternative with meals too. So people, if they don't like what they're getting, they they had it like a couple times a week, but now they're maybe making it five times a week. So people have choices. So you know that you have choices. Yeah. yeah. And they're more but the alternatives are things like sandwiches or something yeah. like that. But still, it's a different choice for people. Yeah. And that's coming out of that kitchen over there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Well, they just mix some kettles in there that you can put you right in there. Make sure you're right. both. And they had to buy some huge new equipment and stuff. Yeah. And that met like uh, OSHA requirements. They have things that it's like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, a few years ago they put in the, the new packaging material where they yeah. package and seal it up with a yeah. plastic. Really? Yeah. Instead of the old, yeah. instead of the old yeah. crypt yeah. aluminum foil. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so that's, I mean, that's, that's the other thing. Okay, alternative, I mean, a few days we plan to offer alternative daily in October. Okay. Yeah. So I think that, um, other than that, I don't know if anybody has any other questions. It, uh, it's just active, and you know, when you're a board member, you not only just have to go to the meetings and be a part of their meetings, you have to belong to different committees and do the active community work, so. Yeah. Yeah. You should. Well, when, uh, when uh, Jim and I were there, we were starting to get into the trying to, and after that, they to reform that mm -hmm. and decided to get the board members more involved. Oh, yeah. Which is a good thing. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. And there's some, you know, the neat, neat thing is there's some really savvy people that have really, especially around fiscal kinds of things, because that's a skill set not everybody has in Portland. Um, but it, it, it put some really good people on, on the board and really active and stuff, so. They basically need a new leadership and they got new leadership. Yeah. And that yeah. was a long time Oh, coming. God. Yeah. Fascinating, too. You know, well, they almost got shut down by the state a few years back, so I mean, they, they've come back a long way. Mm -hmm. Okay, any uh, questions or comments? Okay, we'll move on to new business mm -hmm. genealogy workshops. Um, we have a partnership with, um, not with Lily Library, with um, Forbes Library, and they're, we're going to be doing a genealogy a number of genealogy workshops together. The first one is sort of, sort of a panel of experts to talk about the different ways to approach um, to find your roots, and then there'll be some specific um, uh, do workshops depending on the input from the people. And that the first one is going to be October 30th. Oh. And um, we'll be, some of the workshops will be do, done at the library, some will be here. We'll probably use our computer lab. Anyway, it's did, fun. I'm did you going. check on whether you, the city can get a bumper off of their system up there? That the, they do the genealogy, there's five of them and they got licenses. So you need to check on that. If you're going to use the computers here, yeah. they have, they, they just get, Use the computer here. You got to get a license. Oh, oh, you know, I know. Yeah, for the, okay. um, I know that um, um, Forbes actually has that. You know, they have the license for whatever Ancestry.com or something. Oh. So they were, yeah, so they were going to check that out. But you, you know. get, they can't. You can't from use them from here to that computer. No, no, no. The Ancestry get the is there, so you have to get up. Yeah. Yeah. But you can do that for a day. Yeah, and if we have to, um, we'll we'll invest in the software but but I'm, I'm hoping that we can get it the free and easy way that's what we'll approach mm -hmm. yeah. that's a good start yeah mm -hmm. okay you don't know whether the uh october 30th mm -hmm. where it's going to be it's going to be here at six o'clock right here at night yeah okay uh moving on to employment fair okay um that's going to be um october 19th here and um, the Career Center is working with us to make it happen. Um, and 
I'm really kind of excited. So it's going to be from 9.30 to 11. The first, the last half hour is going to be open to anyone looking for jobs. But the first half, first hour is going to be focused in on older people who need to supplement their income. So, That's AM. AM, yeah. Mm -hmm. So who's coming? It's like a job fair. Yeah. We're looking for... Like they don't, I mean, how many vendors are going to be here? Do we know what um, that the career centers organizing oh, all of that? Right. And um, what we had to do is we had to do a survey to from um, about about oh, maybe twenty or thirty people responded to what they would be looking for. So those are the vendors that they're going to invite. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? Okay, let's move on to the gala. Gala? Gala. 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 So uh, we, I think uh, at the last um, talking to Victoria today, we have 50 tickets sold. Um, you know, really, uh, Jim, if you if the the, um, the Elks is really coming through, that'll be wonderful. Yeah, we're, I'm pushing it pretty hard there. A lot of interest. A lot of interest. Okay. Really. Okay. Well, um, again, we're, we're we welcome everyone. Is this is information about it, I can leave it here. Um, it is, you know, I, I'm not truly ex expecting everyone to come. If, if $100, you know, if you could write a check for $100 and you don't blink and cough, then, you know, definitely come. But if it is going to create a, a financial hardship, please don't do that. I'm going to be at the cage, so I will not be sure. there. Okay. Is this tuxedos or suits? <laughs> Um, there's no dress up. Oh my god, I want to get my strapless gown I was looking for. I'll do it with my toxic. Yeah, I think you should she go with it. Most gowns are dressy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I mean, a suit, I mean, the suit would be, it's not a black tie affair. Yeah. No, no, no. But I mean, not jeans. Yeah. 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 Of course. Dress up, not necessarily. That was the only question I was proposed to ask. Oh, that was, I was told to ask You were told to ask that, okay. Sure, it's welcome. Well, you, you no, can no, tell no. your, your boss that you asked it. <laughs> we're going to invite people, um, also do a little bit more um, supportive um, marketing here, too, because a few people, I mean, I was, like, I, I felt guilty asking people here, um, and then people started approaching me, Linda, what is this, what do we want to go, and so, you know, it's it's wonderful, it's the, the support is out there, we just have to reach all the different avenues, yeah. Out of curiosity, do we investigate a one-day license? We have one day, we're okay. drinking. Okay. <laughs> How's that I don't know if we are, but you are. How's that being handled? It's all done. It's, yeah, they, they went to Where the license. Where we getting the alcohol from? Uh, who's serving? They went to the license commission and okay. um, they got it approved. And it's oh, all, sir, Seth, I think, is co um, coordinating that. All right, Ooh. so someone may. Yeah, you're right, somebody has to serve it. I wonder if somebody has to serve it yeah. that's certified. Yeah. I think, there's, yeah. I think the group practitioners has actually given some beer to it. I don't know. And I was wondering if we got mm -hmm. donations for it yeah. from it of alcohol. I'll talk to Heather about that. I don't think we've gotten any donations mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, somebody I'm working on one. Because. Oh. <laughs> right, somebody has to serve it. They certainly can't yeah. serve themselves. Somebody has right. to serve it. Yeah. Um, All you have to have is a card. Harry. Uh, has the uh, certification to do oh, that. Oh, very good. Patty's over here. Really? I do do. Oh, good. He does. He does too. Okay. Um, but in years past, when we've had not a gala, but uh, a gala, but um, <laughs> a, 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 a big event, as I said before, Thank you. Uh, Hearns Funeral volunteered and purchased all of it and served it, and that will cost to us. Yeah. Whether that's on, okay. the, on the floor now. So who did know. that? A Hearn funeral. Oh, Hearn. Oh, right. Mike Ahern, Mike Ahern Jr. Well, no. Thank you. That's that's good. I'll pass that on. So that might be a worth a phone call, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and when we do our St. Patrick stuff, believe it or not, old Salusniax takes care of us. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, okay. Entertainment, I understand it's a jazz band or something. Yeah. Oh, who's playing? Yeah. I don't know. It's a jazz band. Very good. Oh, there's yeah. going to be a raffle? Who is the band? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. going to be um, a silent auction. Silent auction. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh that's nice. I know uh, Seth's very excited. I know his sister in law, who does a lot of the events with him. No, not his sister, a person that works for him. And they're very excited about doing it. Okay. They're preparing as we speak. Uh, yeah. Right. Well, I don't imagine he does too many you know, upscale. <coughs> it's probably you know, very exciting for him to do that instead of just lunches and small dinners. Oh, he does well. Three, four, five a day. Yeah. Yeah. He just did the new presidential he does lots of and he's the school, which is pretty Yeah, but he's great. Okay. Yeah. He did my daughter's wedding of 225. Yeah. He does a lot of upscale. Oh, yeah. Great. He's good. Okay. Okay, can we uh, move on to the Cooler Dickinson Hospital Speakers Forum? Yeah, we're going to actually, we're, we're working in partnership with Cooley Dick, but um, I also think Northampton Neighbors will be one of the partners and we'll be um, just inviting people every month. We're going to try to have another um, highlighted speaker coming. We have a, a University of Massachusetts person who wrote books on sleep and um, they'll be doing a presentation. We'll, um, we and elder views and there's a few things that um, every month there'll be a topic of interest. So, and I, I wanted to again do it in partnership because again it reaches out to different people to bring them in here. Yeah. 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 Well, the, the director of the um, of the Cooley Dick, this is kind of what made me think about it. Asked to come because she's um, wanting to int be, introduce herself to the community. When you say director, you're the director? Yeah. Yeah, and I, someone just told me today, um, I guess the Wall Street Journal had a very negative thing about Cooley Dickinson Hospital. And, you know, it's, I don't know about it. I haven't read it or anything, but, um, so it's, it's probably important mm -hmm. for her to get out and change the profile. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, but that's an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, writing conference. I'm going to Jim. Okay, writing conference is all left nuts. It's really, really great. Um, what I have right now is I have five New York best-selling authors. One of them is going to start off, which is Jacqueline Sheen, which is our local, and Seth Hayward is going to be in the middle, and he's going to be the closing prime speaker. We have another four that are going to give tips um, character development, ocean, I mean, uh, character development, how to do uh, all the different kinds of neat things to do when you're writing, mm -hmm. um, how to write. Uh, we have 10 agents coming from New York to meet with people that are actually going to get to get to meet face to face with an agent. Um, do that. We have uh, this may be perfect, but James Will do she, you know who he is? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just just a little bit of an author. He may come and do a full workshop for us for a full day. And I got the Elks to sponsor that for their for their venue. We can do them at the Elks and we're gonna charge extra for that. Right. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah. The that the, the two days, Friday and Saturday, is a hundred bucks. And, and so far I've got, I sent out uh, an email and a lot of Facebook stuff and I got 180 people that want the first tickets. Oh jeez. So, so let's just start, we can, I'm, I'm shooting for $20,000 to give to, to Elder Vision. Um, it, it's really skyrocketing. Um, we've got probably, the, the, the all instructors are all names people will know. We have some of the best fantasy writers. We got two um, love story writers. What do they call that? Romance, romance. romance novels. <laughs> um, we, got, romance. we got one who is. We we have one who just wrote the memoir on somebody in Northampton, but she's very very well known. So we're going to have some really cool people here. And when and is it? It's May fifth, May fourth and fifth. It's a Friday and Saturday. We're closing everything down on the fourth and the fifth because it just all the things are going to be done um, between Heather and myself and Victoria. 
and uh, Amy is also on it. It's just, and I'm, I'm on the Do phone. Do you need more help for that? Yeah. I'm not right now. Okay. Um, Keep us in mind. But with another couple of months, we're going to start, you know, putting things out there. Like to get some money from the downtown, you know, businesses and especially the libraries, you yeah. know, the, the bookstores and that. Because what we're going to do is Saturday night at six o'clock, all the instructors and everybody who's coming is going to go to the Elks, and we're having a meet and greet and cocktail hour and the whole deal so you're going to be able to see mr belducci and shake his hand and sign your book okay and is is there a program involved with the uh, may 4th and 5th days that um, people could buy um ads um or is it i had jesus i hadn't even thought about doing that um let's keep this as simple as possible okay. i mean yeah. We could do that, I suppose, but I'd rather not. I think. I let me think about It'll be that. work. I think about that. Yeah, Soliciting and getting it organized right. and having it printed. Print. Yes, we need help. Okay. Yeah, I can help. But uh, I'm excited about this one. It sounds like it will. Getting my name out there too. Yeah. So you know, there is there is a, a significant. Okay. It's a win win all the way around. It's a win win all the way around. Yeah. You win by win. But yeah, but. Uh, what really excites me is I think this citywide could change the perception of the senior center. Mm -hmm. If you got somebody that James Bulldoshi is out there that having a beer at you know one of the local clubs and he's there, I'm here to do something with the senior center, somebody's gonna say, What? Yeah. You know, I mean I think that that's sort of my secondary we still have that perception uh, in some people's yeah. minds of a bunch of little old ladies sitting around knitting and playing bridge. Yeah, that's always, you know, going to change. That. And, uh, that's, that's, and maybe we can... But I that's not what the answer and that's... We yeah, persuade a few people. I think age corners and they age up. Right. But I think that will be a little bit of a, a kick in it. You know, may not change it, yeah. but it, we don't want... My biggest issue that I'm a little concerned with is... 180 people say already and it's not even advertised yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. What's your max? Yeah. Well, 250 is all the, the front room of the mm -hmm. whole. You may not have to advertise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. like, yeah, we I mean, just leave this as well. Leave it and initially, we said, well, we'll do seniors till, you know, at a certain date and then they'll yeah. be open to everybody right. else. And I don't know if we have to do that or not. Yeah. You know, but the biggest thing is everybody says it's hundred dollars a day. I said no, it's fifty dollars a day, and they're just that's like huge. for a, a wow. conference. That's huge. Yeah, well, like the last one I went to in New York was five fifty a day. I was going to say seven hundred dollars yeah. a day. Yeah, some of the big ones are well over a thousand a day. Are they and, going to be fed? Is there any meal provided um, them? Uh, um, we're thinking about that. It's still in. Uh, th this is still in a lot of the yep. planning phases about how all this is going to go. Mm -hmm. um, Geez, I don't know if we could feed 200 people, you know. Yeah. In a couple of food one. trucks. Yeah, that's well, probably what I'm going to do is get a food truck. And donate 50% yep. of the profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 But we got to, <coughs> if anybody has hints or suggestions, please email me. You've all got my email. Mm -hmm. Say, you have thought about this, Jim? You know, at least I can put it in the yeah. mill and play with it mm -hmm. a little bit. I, I used just to never watch trade shows. So. Yeah. There yeah, you go. I just the same thing. Yeah. A lot of coordination. Yeah, well, that's why it, I, everybody, I've got all of my writer groups is going to help do it, the, you know, everything. So, uh, the day, you know, the volunteers. So, the volunteers are kind of covered. You know, who's going to run to, you know, make sure everything's well, right set up. Well, it's the right kind of volunteers. Or, it's the right kind of volunteers. Yeah, I got the right kind. They're all interested in the people. Mm -hmm. They're all interested in the whole thing. So, you're, you've got people that want to do it yeah. and, and, and want to be there for a reason. Yeah. So, Congratulations, I'm very excited. What a great, what an achievement. Yeah. Wow. Great event. Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting event. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, it's one of the events, too, that we have in this town. We have some very talented people who are getting involved ourselves in great, mm -hmm. very good things. And I mm, don't know how we can do this yet, but I'm trying to get the Elks to give us mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a kickback on the alcohol that they sell that night. Mm -hmm. we're, we can't push that okay, for that party, the the and Cruise party. Yeah. No, 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 no. At the uh, writers' conference. at the writers' conference. Yeah, or that you're yeah, talking with the yeah, meet yeah, and greet. Yeah. Yeah. That the, the Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Final finale, yeah, if you want yeah. to call it that. Yeah. Well, 
Like I say, it doesn't hurt to ask. Mm -hmm. Please don't mind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll wipe them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, any other questions on the writing comments? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's keep moving. Uh, that's a subject here. I'm not trying to get you, I'm not trying to get you going. Yes, you are. We've we got the next meeting to go to. Um, so this is another new initiative we're starting here at SUB. And we, this, the first meeting was yesterday, and we've invited every group that I can think of that it does activities for older people in, um, in this area. The Y was represented. Um, <coughs> The, um, uh, let's see. Rec department. the rec department was there, um, the sculling, um, the boat club, the Hollywood boat Rowing. club was there, um, and the, there was there's a woman's adventure group that oh, was yeah. there, there's all out all adventures, adventures that were there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, the, so many people know about little pockets of activities for older people, but they don't see the whole scope. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, so we are maybe reaching about 10% of the population to keep people moving. Mm -hmm. And it's um, and so they're willing. To, we're going to be putting together uh, an initiative so that um, we all work together in marketing. Um, there'll be a big board here. Like this is what. Um, these are the activities this month. Um, we're, the, we're going to have a panel of the people that represent the, the various factions, and we're going to invite everyone to come and hear about the various activities. I mean, I, last Friday I was sculling on the Connecticut. I lasted about two minutes because my, my hips were killing me, but that's, you know, I'm, I am going to fix the hips before I go sculling again, but it was remarkable. Yeah. Um, Go ahead, Captain. Oh, I was just going to say that one of the things in terms of, uh, it's, it's pretty clear, you know, when I do a lot of research on, or, you know, reading on, on dementia, in terms of brain health and people, it's, I mean, it's pretty it's based in evidence that, you know, physical activity and exercise will not only probably help to stave off any, but even when you, you know, as you get older, you know, it's amazing what it does for the quality of your life. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Oh, sorry. Is it worth putting like a fair together, like an activity fair? Well, that's, like that's, fair? that's what we're going to do. So everybody has tables and you can see that. Oh, okay. First the panel. We've been fair, we've been fun yeah. the the First the panel. Yeah. Yeah. Then they break up into their own little places to, to market their um, right. activities. Right. Right. Then the afternoon, um, we'll have open house at each of the places so that they can have a, an idea. I, I'll tell you, the Hoyo Post Club was fantastic um, on Friday with the sun, and, oh my god, on the Connecticut. Anyway, the, um, that's, um, yeah, and they'll go to the Y, they'll go to um, any of the, um, our members, it, you know, they have the, the All Out Adventures have their tricycles, and um, anyway, we might think about um, creating some competitive things, and. So, and everybody was really on board. They all want to come back and they want to do it. Mm -hmm. But that, yeah. We, we so we all, it all have one roof. So people can go to table to table and see who does yeah. what. Yeah. And then the afternoon they can yeah, go and visit. Right. And then go visit the great like, places. Yeah. yeah. So, and then what, and then chron the Chronicle will always have that section. Let's keep, let's keep moving. Yeah, that's great. And mm -hmm. so you'll say, oh, and you well, have other kinds of, of, of physical activities, such as um, maybe some martial arts or, or Tai Chi. Sure, I don't have a problem. You know, everybody is yeah. welcome to uh, to help them with that. Because like that, mm -hmm. I think it's a really important thing. I was the only one that was overweight in the whole group. And it was like, okay, I've got to get going here. I got the hint, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I know. Okay. I, I think we had an uptick in membership at the fitness center. I feel like there's lots of different people in there. You know, I go there often, so I've been noticing different faith faces. Yeah, so yeah. I think there is an uptick. Everything yeah, is going up. Everything, the attendance, um, every you know, like again, almost every month uh, there's another hundred people using the bands and um, I just did the annual report so maybe next month I can give you a few oh, figures and comparisons but, um, from last year to this year, um, so which would be helpful to, to get a sense yeah. of what, but yeah, it is, um, I forget exactly, but there was maybe a thousand more parts, this was not, um, I think it went up about 300 new members. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, so I'll bring that figure next time. Mm -hmm. About 100 more dollars. 100 more? Okay, yeah. she pays attention to these reports. <laughs> more than that. A hundred more. Okay. And my, my, my children say that I exaggerate everything, so here's proof positive. But, um, 100 right. So it's a hundred. Yeah. yeah, but it's still a hundred. And it makes a difference. In yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're moving the fitness center back to the back room. That was huge. Yeah. That was a yeah, big, hear big, about big that all the time. Big, yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm not very good at either. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I don't see it. Yeah. 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 The, the elder population is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's true. There's people living longer and longer. Yeah. And sure. More people. It's going up percentage wise. You and there'd be more and more encouraging. We, yeah. we have a couple of friends who are doctors for the elderly, and they're like, we don't know how to treat 90 year olds. That's right. I mean, they're coming in with ailments that we've never had in a 90 year old. I mean, they're just not. Well, we just need to treat them. They're like, I don't know what to tell well, you. Well, and it's sad. It's yeah. so yeah. I mean, there's, there's no geriatrician here right. in this city, and it really. There's, yeah. there's not many in the state. I know that. There's not many in the state. Yeah. Yeah. They need geriatric psychiatrists. They need a geriatric counselor. I mean, it's they don't. They're not ready for the elder population. No. But the elder population yeah. is growing anyway, yeah. ready or not. Yeah. What's hmm. What's really, you know, I find really fascinating as a person who grew up here, the the quality of people moving into this community is just so exceptional. I mean, if you just don't, you just don't meet someone who, you know, you, I, I, every single day I meet, I said, you did what? You're here? You know, I mean, this is, we're a draw, and I think it's really important for us as the, the center, the senior center, to really recognize that. Um, and I think we are. Mm -hmm. It feels good. But, but they're really remarkable people. Oh, God. I know. People kind of like, you are a tango dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Great. A baker in Manhattan. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Oh, it's one of the nice things about the, uh, the conversation tea and, and the you know, wisdom project that we sit around. We do a lot of talking, but you also find out suddenly that you did what? Yeah. You were young, you, and some of these people. A guy last Tuesday or the Tuesday before, he said, I had a, a few things to do with dogs, and I kind of pushed it a little bit. And he ran Westminster Abbey for 10 years. He did. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, that sort of had something to do with dogs. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Great. You could do some spotlights on Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing oh. the, the people we have. We have yeah. a lady in the vision group years ago, and in um, the young at heart, she was a Balanchine ballerina. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is a good place for this. Exciting. One of yeah. my writers just got national recognition for his last book from our writing group. And we took one first, two seconds, and nine thirds in the fairs already for the photo people. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Yeah. But it's a good place to live. Jim, was that Ed? No. Pardon? Was that Ed? Yeah. Oh, he yeah. did. Great. Ed's, Ed's, Ed's book. Ed's book will be on the New York Times bestseller list before the end of the year. Great. Guaranteed. Well, what are you Guaranteed. referring to? Ed. Orsakowski is he wrote a book about Belchertown. Yeah. Oh, right. School. No, I and I it's it's that. taken it's take he's going to New York, the library in New York to do a reading this thing. Yeah, I'm month trying or to get like talk to our national nursing group at yeah. our next meeting, having him mm -hmm. come Yeah, see. It's, and he does a great presentation. He does, he does, he does. And he's a good guy and he always mentions me. As he should. Well, Obviously, it never hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, does anyone have any other? I have a question. The Santa for seniors, is that going through here or through the police? Never heard of that. That's oh, usually, yeah. through, well, the police. It's usually through the police. No, no, but I thought somebody, Heather said. Yeah, well, she's um, kind of spearheading a program. It's um, Snowflakes. And I'm not quite it's sure about the same thing. What yeah. is Santa for seniors? There's a lot of seniors that are alone. Yeah. They don't oh. have it. So the senior centers in oh. Massachusetts put together bags, gift oh. bags, oh. and they deliver them to seniors who are 
They got yeah, they got male ones and female ones. We put everything from books and yeah. and you know, we put lotion and all kinds and of stuff. All sorts of stuff. We just kind of collect stuff. I did that last year with the police station. Yeah, but it was the police station. Yeah, she did it for the police station. Because I thought Jody said that the senior center. Well, first we heard of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think right. it, I think right. it was there was a lot of political problems last time. Uh, okay, that I don't know, but um, I'll talk to Heather. I thought she said something about working with the police station. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing is that um, I think we were trying to do some um, baskets from. Um, Michelle's perspective for some of the shut-ins too, but we, but what we need to do because we have such enthusiastic, great staff, that they want to do a lot. So we have to sit down and you know, yeah, create, create like make it real and like, create happen. that yeah. one initiative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so great. we're not we we're probably at square one yet yeah. for both of them. Yeah, yeah. combine Michelle's with the yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, it's, but I think that's a really important. Really think about the holidays and, and the they're isolation. not that far away, right? Exactly. No. So they just start collecting things to put in the bags. Mm -hmm. um, what did you talk to the elves, Mike, about about the pets, the animals? Did I talk to him about that? Yeah. 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 What, what did, did you get us involved in? <laughs> one, of, um, one of the women that's one of our text write-off people is very interested in having people donate um, pet food for people who are older people who have pets and it gets, it's, it's kind of not affordable in many cases. So um, I just told them that we were doing, we were going to be investigating. We talked to Deals and Steals and they said that they would give us some of their Pet food and well, we're trying to get a, a fundraiser up to help you mm. with that. Oh, well, we just did a fund, believe it or not, for the fundraiser for the cats at the VA, oh. which I thought was going to be. You know, if you go right to the manufacturer, and they went $1,300 was given right. to us in cash for yeah. the cats. At if the you go right to the manufacturer, they will send cases okay. out because they have a whole every manufacturer has a whole area oh. of donations, donations. And, you know development it's called there and they go. they okay. will send out cases i did that before i was up at that when i was up with the, working up in greenfield they sent cases of those clorox wipes yep. for all the schools oh. we had cases going to the school so they could wipe the desks of the kids and i mean cool. they'll, they'll do that okay. they'll go directly with the company okay okay you get early enough yeah <coughs> A couple of dates I need. Are we having a craft fair? Yeah. Because my wife asked me that because if we're going to be in the kitchen, we got to know. Yep. Before you go traveling the world. It's November um, 18th. It's, hold on a minute. We're <coughs> here on November 18th. 18th, I think. Yeah. To coincide with bag day and everything like that. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. It's 18th. Uh, November okay. 18th, yeah. yeah. And holiday dinner? We yeah. haven't done anything. Am I doing a turkey dinner yet. again or not? Oh, the reason I'm asking is my yeah. purveyor right now is offering me turkeys for a buck fifty nine a pound. Oh my god! I've never gotten that. That's I usually it's four sixty nine, yeah. four seventy nine oh. a pound. When do we usually do that first week? Uh, uh, December. I think it's. We went to January one year because we couldn't get it organized. Yeah. yeah. But usually in December, yeah. early well, December. I think it's. So, I yeah. think in talking to somebody, uh, the tenth was thrown out there. Yeah. Sunday the tenth. Sunday, Sunday. Okay, yes, we are doing it. So if you want kind to offer yeah. Yeah, I can purchase it and just put it in our freezer. That's yeah. Fine. And I know yeah. what we're doing. So why don't we put a tentative date on um, Sunday the 10th, and I'll, I'll, in our next staff meeting, we'll make it final. Right. I think you'll find out that that's the right day. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what's the story with World War II Club? Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I know the answer okay. probably, but. No, well, okay. They're, it's still there. They're, <laughs> they're waiting for, um, what are they, they, they're really almost there. Okay. Um, but I, I, you know, Heather has really gotten to a point like, this is, next Wednesday is the last day that you could do it. Uh, and um, so I talked to their, uh, to Jen and, um, it looks like they're almost there. Um, I, I'm like willing to give them one more week, um, but we, you know, we really need our kitchen back, and they know that. So we've been talking. Yeah, sure they, they've got everything. Oh, they needed a plumber for something, yeah. and 
it's it's not too too much now. And then they need the um, they need it um, evaluated, yeah. inspected. Inspected. Yeah. And so I think we're we almost there. The yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're almost going to get kitchen back. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We right. are really pushing. And yeah. then the last thing, I'm looking at the minutes, and we ended the last our last meeting with Jim uh, making a vote for this 55 and up age limit, and you were going to investigate that and send us information, and then we we're going to bring it up at this next meeting. Yeah. Um, I, 50, yeah. 55. I, I need to write up the policy is what I've, I've been kind of investigating things and um, I think it's um, you know we um, that it was it was kind of a there was one person that was making mm -hmm. a real issue on this right. and um, so I called the um, Department of uh, the Executive Office of Elder Affairs and you know the biggest problem is that different organizations have different numbers so you know associated that, with yeah, age yeah. yeah like um uh you know so the executive of uh, um amen um uh what was what does it say it's um evan 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 told to me he said so because this person was also calling him frequently and um she he said you know what it's a discretion of your organization and um, so for, from my perspective, we're going to have a, a little bit of leeway of giving food away to some people, um, but it's going to be, you know, it has to go through a certain process, that's all. Instead of, I mean, what, what, what is that, what is that about? Um, someone under the age of No, this one, this wasn't, oh, that was, well, was that was a whole different one. That was a whole different one. This was a person who, had a disability and um, she wanted to use, she was under 50, she was under the age of 55 and she wanted to use our our um, facility. And we voted to um, keep it 55. That it was, yeah, that keep it at 55. 55. No, no, and people like that, I mean, yeah. I, I'm nothing, but there are other options. Right. And we, and we offered to help them find the other options. Yes, yeah. which is great. And it was my responsibility um, to write up a policy on that for approval. And um, I still am investigating some of those things. And the, can I say the only reason that I'm hesitating on this is because I have the ADA Disability yeah. Commission hat on. So I have to, you know, there's, I'm, I'm just learning, you know, who has, who has the, the rights here, you know. It's, it's a complicated process. That's what I was going to say, bringing it back to that committee and talking about it. Maybe it's, it's not also black and white when it has a person with a disability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is I think it's in our mission statement, though, is it not? Yeah. yeah. It says right there. Yeah. That was the issue. Oh, okay. She never came back. It's the other person who was living in Holyoke that wanted to participate in our food programs that really went to Boston and yeah. the whole bit, yeah. But she lived a little, she lived in Northampton for a lot of years and she feels still connected. It's a long story, but we're working on it. And, and she's satisfied with the results. Anyway, I know, I know. One of these things Another question about yeah. access. I, I have noticed quite a few people kind of sneaking their little dogs into this place. Do we have to hear? Yeah. I just was wondering, do we have a policy about that? I mean, do we should have the the public building, but allergies. I, don't, I noticed that nobody get, no, they don't get spoken to. They they kind of come to the front desk. They're either holding their little dog or they got their little dog down there. And, uh, okay, there uh, should be a sign on the door that says no pets. Okay. Well, service, service dogs. Service. Well, exactly. Yeah. Service yeah. Dogs. yeah, and that's the trick because yeah. they'll say, "Well, I have My a mental dog. health issue." And the main just show no, no, no. The main The thing show I've you been doing home. research about mm -hmm. this, and oh, yes, a service dog mm -hmm. under the ADA mm -hmm. is a dog that performs an activity, some activity for the person. It's not a comfort dog. Right. Right. That's right. So that is not technically right. an ADA. Right. I've been having this because I, mm -hmm. I 
a volunteer at music festivals, and mm. everybody wants to bring their dog, right. except for the people that it's really a service dog. I have, mm -hmm. I know this woman who is blind, and she goes, right. I don't bring my dog to this festival. It's really hot and right. crowded, and it's just awful for the dog. But the people that want to bring the dog are not those people. Well, don't they have an identification but of the dog? Not, not, not I mean, you can get. You can get whatever you want over the, uh, internet. Oh, the internet, but the, uh, but the truth is the ADA recognizes, and we can get signs that say that. Uh, I don't know where, I haven't looked into that. But the ADA recognizes that, that it's for a person that the, it needs the dog to warn them that they're going to have a seizure, right, 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 right. reaches for them right. and things, but it's not you know, to have their duck anxiety. under their arm yeah. because they're... But that's, that's a, I think it is for anxiety too. And that's, you know, but I think people, that... Yeah. See, that's yeah. Well, it's it's right. I mean, Somebody it's brings a, comfort, a ducky and you've got one in the ducker. Well, there are big ones. It's my service dog. No, seriously. People have chickens. I lived in Laurel Ridge Apartments, which thing. never it had is. dogs. And all of a sudden, we have four or five people up there with these little tiny dogs walking around. Yeah, people so had them in their first and so I asked the supervisor. I said, what happened to our policy? So our policy still has no dogs. But being these people who get stuck from, from, the from their doctor, from the doctor that says that this dog calms them right. down. Yeah. First one was a neighbor, I guess. We we had that yeah. issue Bingo. with one of our um, yeah. people in um, the uh, the Scrabble group, and you know it became a it was something that we had to deal with, you know, and um, not only that she did it. There was one person who had allergies, but only when the dog is ruffled and running around. And so she let the dog run around, and that wasn't appropriate. That is, that but then she said, you know, it's for my anxiety, and I have the appropriate um, permission. Yeah. You know what? It might be really interesting to have Chloe Dick for one of your month ago. Speakers yeah. form, come talk about that. I yeah. think having a community forum about that might be helpful, mm -hmm. you know, getting people in terms of talking mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's important. I mean, there's a lot You're of people. You're going to start taking these dogs into restaurants and everything else. Mm -hmm. and, well, know, they yeah. already are. I mean, you go yeah, anywhere, it's especially this city. You go yeah. anywhere, and people have those little dogs yeah. in their bags yeah. all over the place. And you, you, you can't technically ask what the dog is for. You, well, you what you can say, ask yeah. is, what does the dog do for you? Mm -hmm. Right. Right there. But you can't they say what disability you have, what it you can't. Yeah. Exactly. No, seriously, exactly. people, it's there like are <laughs> laws. I mean, Jerry's right. I mean, yeah, it's like under ADA, ADA, comfort is not a service dog. But anxiety is trained, too. And that's what that's she was right. saying. Right, right. I don't but, know. I don't you know, know. that's... Um, so if that's true, true. <laughs> then... Oh, yeah. That's right. If you say the dog calms you down, and that's not a reason why you say yeah. That could be part of our policy. It's That's not. I, mean, I would love to bring my dog. He gives me great well. comfort. Sure, so not. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you're saying it is technically, but that I've been reading articles about it. I can. Little dogs think. Well, it was an editorial in the Republican this morning about that. I don't think anybody really? feels yeah. that power. Okay. All of us being it's not an editorial, but a, a letter to the editor. No, no. About to say we don't feel empowered to tell the story that they're walking in the back of the dog. No, it's well, it, it wasn't, um, it, there was a time in, in, in our in, in I can city ask you that dogs were, you know, allowed. I can't go in for so it. Can't I can't say she'll be all right. Losing right. Power. Give me proof. Yeah. I mean, when I Claire was, you and know, and she was bringing her dog yeah. to work. And, um, you know, and then that changed with David. And then he starts so, nipping, barking, you know, urinating, shitting. It is, and it's, uh, it's difficult for people to work here. You know, if you have changing, you know, opinions where, you know, it's like, what it is and what it is. It's really hard. And well, there's people that bring their kids in. And your pet I monkeys. I have service children. I have service children. They do things for me. Go with this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think the timing is not great. But anyway, I, I want to talk about a couple of things. Sure. One is, could we have the van um, program make it possible for people to, to go to the Springfield Symphony on a regular basis? Sure. And it occurred to me that maybe, I know Lathrop has a van that goes to the Springfield Symphony, and it may, may be possible to somehow combine things so that uh, we wouldn't duplicate uh, services and I I don't really know how to do something like that. You have to do a trip yeah. and then the van yeah. takes sure. yeah. 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 The second van we're going to be yeah. using for a special trip, so that would be yeah. a special trip. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because the Springfield Symphony really needs support and I think there might be a number of people here who would like to mm -hmm. go to to the symphony mm -hmm. on a, uh, every year for the, uh, the series mm -hmm. of concerts and if, if they had the way to get there. Yeah. There would be much more likely than people would have. Definitely. We have a travel meeting on the 25th of September. I'll bring up the Springfield Symphony. Thank you. There are other symphonies and other kinds of other places that also can use support too. So, you know, also, I'd like to know if there's any possibility of ever using the fireplace. What fireplace? In the library. I don't think it's, it's not what we have. It's not real. Yeah, there's no flu. It's not really. it's just for Why sure. did we put the fireplace in? It was not it decorative, so it was an architectural <coughs> thing the architect didn't design it. Yeah. Probably thought it would look good in the library. Yeah. It looks like it, it's but it's was no designed to be used. Yeah. That's why I'm yeah. not sure. It was a donation from uh, some. Yeah, it was yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah that's my wife, actually. Yeah, your wife there was a plaque, uh, there was a card yeah. on there at one time. Somebody donated the. Oh. the fireplace but it is if we could put a fake fire in there that's all you can do you know an electric fire i thought i would ask because it's okay. so nice it's a good question oh. um, it, it's good. it never hurts by asking oh. also a number of people would be interested in having a seamstress available as a service in the senior center because in general that seems to be uh difficult to find you know, the, 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 the actually, the, um, the sewing group used to do that. Yeah. The, the sewing group used to re say if you had something, bring it in, and they would fix it. So I think that's still available. Um, I don't know how, how it's advertised. I had a sport jacket. Yeah, they did a couple shirts of mine that I had. I didn't know about these. Yeah, you weren't aware of it, right? Yeah. You got to wear it. Well, they didn't know about this, so I mean, yeah. No, I wasn't aware of it. Um, did the, is oh, the, yes. I, I know we have a quilting group, but we do we have uh, a special, special group? Yeah, someone group makes uh, every Tuesday afternoon, I think. Rita, who's a light instead of a card. Yeah, but, that's someone who does it. Yeah, right. And, yeah, she, right. and, and then you got to Yeah, Rita really does it. Uh, all all kinds of things. Well, we don't have a sewing group, per se, anymore. Yes. Mm. We, we got do. the people who sew the teddy bear Tuesday. things together, so and they just Tuesday afternoon. And then we got the sewing, sewing people in here. Um, so you could bring something into the sewing group and say, yeah. I need this hand door. Yeah. But you, then they would pay, you would pay for a slight yeah. fee. Yeah, you would pay, but that's right. Yeah. That's all right. right. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, there you go. We know we just found out that Rita Bocalette does need to do this. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, Rita was the one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. And you, so know, so you just educated the entire board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's so good. Right. 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 Yeah. That's right. I still think it needs to be clarified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. I mean, what Don is saying is like, it, right. So, you know, have to ask. Like yeah. on yeah. Wednesdays, you can bring in your things to be yeah. tailored. Right. Yeah. You know, it would be a good, you, would be a good small box in the in the Constitute Chronicle. Right. There you go. Advertises every month. A small box. Yeah. It just says need sewing repairs. So, I do it so do the individual women then who do it, they get paid? Yes. So actually, there would, actually, would there be a flat rate well, for them getting paid? I, did, I came in and I had a torn really shirt, yep. you know, ripped it up here. Yep. And one of the ladies says, I can fix that for you. So she said, just bring it in and put the tart out there for the sewing group. Put mm -hmm. the thing and put the card in. And it cost me $3. Oh, okay. And the $3 went to the scene That's great. See, that would be a little, mm -hmm. that's really I think cool. that's been happening much more. Like, yeah. I think, yeah. I thought we were right there. Was that yeah. recent? You, oh, a year ago? I think it was about two years ago. That's 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 yeah, Linda will check that out. That'd and a little advertising, like I say, mm -hmm. just to let everybody know. So 
Yeah. And it was done pretty good, too. Is it good idea? Oh, it's good. The rest of the shirt comes apart. That would still stay. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that one scene that survived. Yeah. Well, I tried to get rid of it to uh, put it in the zipper. Yeah. I love the coat, but she doesn't yeah. do it. Yeah, keep going. Okay, the next meeting. Um, I want to know uh, if there's anything we can do about how cold it is in the activity room on Wednesdays in the afternoon. Like yesterday was just like the North Pole. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that, I think that has been the one of the problems of our life here. Um, and the, oh. There's a few zones that are different, and you you shut down the uh, the gray room, and then it affects the fitness room, and they're complaining because it's too hot. Um, you know, each there like this is a, an okay room. Um, the front room gets cold. The activity room hasn't ever actually been a problem because there's usually activities in there, and so people are moving. But um, can I deal with it? The only thing, this is in between seasons, and it's that's what they tell me. Um, I've had everybody and their brother come here to try to, to deal with the different um, things. So I, I don't know. I'll, I'll continue. And whenever to, I teach, I bring two kinds of clothes. You know, that's, I, I really don't know what, if we but shut down. Um, you know, it's like when you shut down in one area and it gets too hot in another area. It's not balanced, and I have no idea why it's not balanced. And they give me, I mean, I could invite um, the person who's in charge of that here for his to give you the overview of it. Um, but like really, today I had my heater on in my bed. My, 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 my That's where you sleep. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it. Um, so it's been an ongoing problem long, long it's before. From the day when they the set the them up, central yes. services control the, the heating. The, the big, that's right. The biggest problem is it's controlled downtown. We, we have don't no have thermostats here that we can control it. We and have thermostats, but they, it doesn't work right. It's, most a lot of buildings are like that. I used to have my heater on all summer long. City halls like that. But it shouldn't be really. Oh, well, I agree. You believe me? You. Especially when oh, I got it freezing in the office. And I think once the once the it, we're through the when, like what what day like it's 80 degrees now and tomorrow it might be 40. Tonight yeah. is going to be 40, and that's what really screws up the this system. It's pretty complicated. It's, I feel it's a really impressive system, but it doesn't work as well as we want for this balance. Oh, store heat down below, like yeah. So I, I really don't know, I'm going to try, but I don't know if there's a solution. It's, it's been a problem. We'll probably change the oil. Well, I thought I should tell you, that's, yeah. Yeah. No, that's why, I'm, and I appreciate it. I wish I had a better response. And it's because older people have more of a hard time with heat, I know that. But is there a possibility to have, like, sanctioned, like, um, heaters in the room, so if it does get like we do have, I mean, some places have fans in the summertime. Is it yeah. possible to get heater? Is it fire? Is it fire? Yeah. I don't so know, but there the, might be sanctions. The yeah, problem is, if you put three or four of those yeah, in different areas, you're going to over over power the whole space heaters. Well, I don't yeah. know if there's yeah. any any safety rules nope. that. And then on top of that, it's really hot. Yeah, well, I don't know if there's any any safety rules that. And then on top of that, it really screws up the heating. Yeah, that's right. We don't want space heaters. Sensors on. I mean, I know regular space heaters. The only safety one that I would think of would be the oil filled electric radiators. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. They're as safe as you're going to get. I don't what know. Would, what would help with me when, when it is really cold to come and see either me or, or, or Heather or something? So, what I usually do is do a walk around and, um, you know, like, okay, and then I can call the central services and say, okay, we are, and I, I check the thermostats and, and then I say, this is. It's unacceptable, and they 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 have the ability to put it down. But honestly, as soon as they put it down, there's another note yeah, that that's gets the warm. Truth. Maybe just I'm carry like, a light sweater or a light sweatshirt. Yeah. yeah. But but let me know so I can start documenting. That's the only thing that I can do. And I have just one other thing. Yeah. The survival center is having a uh, drive to get diapers. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, it's, I think it's I a serious that. problem. My, 
fills my daughter. Of, uh, families. <laughs> Baby. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, we it's, go through it's very yeah. expensive. Yeah. Do, the, uh, do you have a, a, like adult stamp diapers? Are people looking for that? Because I think that would be an issue for people because that uh, Mass Health only allows a certain amount. And some we have a whole them. bunch of those. Okay. But I, might I don't think that they're, I think they're talking yeah, about babies. Baby diapers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I was wondering whether there was something we could do to, to join this effort that's ongoing now to that's why one is the senior yeah. center. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion here? Why don't we try to team up with Yelps and do something combined together? The Yelp sponsors part of it somehow or other, and we collect them here. Or I, I, I being an elk, I really think we have hundreds of opportunities. Number one, the Elks has tons, tons of cash available through the national thing that through all kinds of grants and stuff that we aren't tapping and i think as as being a partner with the elks and we really partnership up a lot more we're going to be able to get things like that something like that might be something i can research and and go find all kind of grants they got because they got a big big book that you can go through to find grants i'm sure the survival center knows there's there's so many like you know, I think that should be within the schools because all of these people, you know, their kids yep. age out and they don't need their diapers. Um, yeah. But you know, there's there's certain things that we could probably, um, you know, like the dog food for older people because it's expensive and stuff. There's a there's a connection there. Right, right. there's yeah. older people. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, it's collecting um, um, like. Uh, canned goods for the survival center because you have some and it's easy. Right. Uh, people would have to actually go and buy the diapers, but you know, so I, what? And I think it's important for us to uh, have a perspective about contributing to the future, not issues that involve just who we are mm -hmm. in this time in life. Mm -hmm. And um, could could we make a donation and ask them to use the donation towards the purchasing of diapers? Mm -hmm. Do we have money to make donations? I, I mean, we're working so hard. Well, you know, if, if, we, if, we, if we if we start doing that, that yeah. opens up a hell of a Yeah, and then oh, somebody everybody else is going to come in, everybody's going to come in and say, well, if you give it to this, give to this. Yeah. And then bottle exactly. like this. Exactly. I think you think be better than getting, getting with the Elks and getting the money from the Elks. I think Jim's right. Go to the Elks. Yeah, we'll go. You got to be careful, Pandora's box. That's right. I think there's If you got three organizations doing it, yeah, really exactly. Don't oh, want to get yelled at. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. And it's awful because yeah. there's so many needy places. I mean, I could name a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, well, I could, that for but next. what I could do is I could definitely put something in the Chronicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, that right. wouldn't be a problem at all. Mm -hmm. you know? Careful, because then if you ask for but one thing, you're going to have to ask for another. There you go. Just, I would be I real, just, real, I real careful. I would, not, I would not ask for it. I would just say, you know, um, that we are the center to catch it. The survival, survival awesome. center is looking for diapers. And then for the next group's going to say, put this in the Chronicle. Put this in the I'm just saying, it's you're opening a Pandora's box when you go down that road. Because then you can't turn around and say no to somebody. Because they'll yeah. say you ask, yeah. you just ask for the Bible yeah. subject. Yeah. Now ask for us. Now ask for us. Now I mean, yeah. I still like Jim Tiger in that. Oh, that's. Let me yeah. let's 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 go let's let's let me go this month. Yeah, Before the next month, I will research some mm -hmm. of the Elks grants. See if I can find a couple that we can team up and partner with to do something like that for the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I think as a board, we should. It's an agreement that the Chronicle is just for yeah. the senior yeah. center stuff. Well, we have real straight rules about the Chronicle. Yeah, good. Uh, I hate to cut okay. this short. Yep. We've got another meeting to go to, so we have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Whatever. Motion. Third. Uh, all those question. in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Nobody Aye. wants to stay. I was going to tell you, who's got that? Good.